Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Um, pretty early in the morning, and kind of got to keep quiet because my family's still asleep. But I wanted to get a jump on this quake. So yeah, there was just a 4.2 in the city of Pacoima? Pacoma? I don't know. Anyways, if you were close to the shaking, you could have felt shaking up to 5.5. Holy crap. Hmm. 42 fell reports so far, but that's probably going to skyrocket once people start waking up. And... Alright, let's pull this up on Google Earth. And see if we can find what fault it occurred on. You see, I want to say... It's the San Gabriel, but it seems a bit far away. Sierra Madre Fault Zone? Sierra Madre Fault Zone. Alright, so, yeah. Sierra Madre Fault Zone is the fault that it occurred on. And, how far was it from our seismometers? Eighty three miles away. Alright. So that's a pretty good distance, I guess. Alright, so let's go to the Infotech here. Look at these readings. Holy moly. Alright, so you can see it starts like right there. Santa Barbara and Menifee. Then it goes really, really good readings there. And then it starts to fade out. And even here in Mammoth, which is pretty far away. So you can see P-Wave here. Then you can see a little trough here and here, then S wave, then it starts to fade out, then a little jolt here, which is a 3.3 aftershock, and yeah, nothing else so far. Alright, on the Raspberry Shake now. E also, even good, re super good readings. So you can see P wave here, which gets to 15,000 and below negative 15,000 counts. And then the S wave, which gets above 20,000 and below almost to negative 20,000. So yeah. Not really got how the power spectrum worked though. There goes the globe. <coughs> uh oh. There we go. So yeah, P wave gets pretty dark in there. They can see it starts to get lighter color, then it goes dark again for the S wave, and then it starts to fade out. And you can see it's not all the way up to the top because it was almost 100 miles away. So, yeah, that's the 4.2, and here's the little 3.3 .3 aftershock. Um, just almost at 2,000 counts and just below negative 2,000 for P wave. It's 2,000, above 2,000 on the S wave and below negative 3,000. Wow. On the, yeah, S wave. In here again, P wave starts to fade out, S wave, and then it completely fades out. So, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it, and I will see you guys again in the next video.